X lazy people of reddit. How did you overcome your laziness? Two things that helped at least a little bit. 1. Doing things early during the day. The later the day gets the less likely I will do what I should do. This will also free your mind from that thing for the rest of the day. 2. Making a visual to-do list on a piece of paper placed in a spot that I will see it multiple times during a day. Routine. I'm a creature of habit. I had to force myself into the discomfort over and over again. Eventually this becomes the new normal. It's all habits. You have to force new ones. Two things. Finding something I love doing for work and the 5 minute rule. Basically if it will take you less than 5 minutes, you do it. This then applies to everything with motivation. You get to a point where rather than having to motivate yourself to do things you train yourself to respond to the thought. Rather than I should go to the gym being followed by trying to find the energy and being passive. You get into the habit of when you have that thought you change clothes. Gather your stuff and leave the house immediately. It doesn't always help but I achieve a lot more than I used to. I think the key to making it work is getting enough sleep. Whenever I've got a full time job, it switches my life around. I want to go to the gym, see friends, cook, etc. When I'm part time studying not working, I go back into mega lazy mode. Having something you have to go do every day is great. It gets you to start moving and once you're up and about it's easier to do other things. Not to dimish what other people are saying, but sometimes the just do it advice doesn't quite touch home for a lot of people, like me. Who doesn't necessarily feel lazy but just tired all the time, which can be construed as laziness. But do you ever notice when you're feeling tired or lazy it's usually when you're sitting? Maybe watching TV, sitting on the computer, in a comfortable position? Sometimes being productive takes steps. One thing that helped me is to take the baby steps. I'll be sitting watching TV and start to doze off. What is one small thing that can help with that? Stand up and watch TV. It'll make you feel a little less tired. Standing and watching TV, then, might make you feel a little restless. Maybe you look over at the table and notice it's a little cluttered. So you walk over and clean it while you stand and watch TV. Maybe when you finish cleaning the table while you watch TV, you'll remember you have a project or assignment you need to work on. So you can start doing that while you stand and have the TV on in the background. Maybe when you worked on your project for a little while, you start to get a little mentally fatigued, so maybe you take a break with that by watching some TV, but maybe this time you do it while standing and doing some dishes. Simply standing is a huge starting point for me, whenever I feel tired or lazy and I don't really want to be, and I want to be productive, I'll just stand up, maybe walk around the house a little bit, it gets the gears in motion for me, and it's an incredibly small but effective starter. A body in motion stays in motion and a body at rest stays at rest. I found out that is a very true statement. For sure this, the longer I've been doing nothing the more I just want to do nothing. Any type of movement when I'm being ultra lazy can help break me out of it. I realized that my laziness was a symptom of my depression so I start treating my depression. I took my antidepressant but also changed my lifestyle. Instead of getting out of bed with just enough time to get ready I get up with time to jog, eat breakfast with my wife and daughter. I started meal prepping to make sure we could have healthy lunches and dinners. I also started doing more self care. I am down 15 pounds and feel a lot better. By procrastinating being lazy. Modern lazy problems require modern lazy solutions. I started a couple of fixed daily weekly schedules, like what time to work out. I chose something that I enjoy doing entire fixed schedule to it, then expanded by scheduling more useful things like a sleeping schedule and eating schedule. I slip up occasionally, but those things that I like stay constant, and it helps. This. Also, find out when you are most productive. For me it is mornings. So I started waking up really early and go to bed really early. Late evenings are usually when you feel the laziest. So I'd rather sleep than be lazy. Meds. Turned out the laziness was my ADD preventing me from focusing on tasks long enough to finish them. Same. But depression instead. Meds helped me not feel like an emotional wreck and gave me then energy to get out of bed and not be lying around all day. Being lazy started to require more effort than the actually task, it just started to not be worth it anymore. Got a job that forced me to be on basically 100% of the time. 
The more others depend on me, the less lazy I tend to be. I kinda did that. I got a dog. I wouldn't leave the house for anything but the puppy needs walks and runs and eats anything on the floor so the house is clean and I'm much more active. I wouldn't do it for myself though. I'm still lazy. Basically knowing I need to work to exist is what keeps me motivated. TL. DR. Everyone feels tired when their alarm clock goes off early. You just have to get out of bed when you're tired instead of laying in bed until you feel rested. I asked my wife this week. I feel so tired when my alarm clock goes off. I just want to keep sleeping until I don't feel so tired. How do you get out of bed so early? How do you feel so energetic in the morning to which you responded that everyone feels tired when their alarm clock goes off. You just have to get up anyway. It was an eye opener for me that I wasn't supposed to just lay in bed until I felt like getting up. It's summertime and I'm a teacher. So I don't have to go to work until later this month. If it can be done in 5 minutes, get it over with now. If you have to do something like go to the gym but can't find the energy, just put on your gym clothes. Then you're already dressed. Realized the laziness was actually procrastination caused by my anxiety and depression. I go to therapy now and I've come up with ways to curb my procrastination, such as setting timers, giving myself rewards, finding more effective ways to work and working out what triggers my anxiety. And I'm less harsh on myself if I'm not up to a task. Quit smoking pot. Quit drinking. Man people think you're being a dong or self-righteous when you say that drinking and smoking makes you lazy. I swear once I quit both of those substances my motivation shot through the roof. I realize that my goal in life is to live in perpetual lounge mode. And in order to achieve that I really needed to be successful in life and make good money early on. So that's what I did. I learned and worked as hard as I can with the goal that one day, I will retire and just lounge around in my giant house and play video games all day. Started by establishing a routine. Wake up early. Jog. Shower. Breakfast. The rest of the day is structured in blocks of work and breaks to allow me to focus on what needs to be done that day. Automation. Automation is the higher level result of laziness. I didn't. But if I put things off I only end up having to work even harder later. So I don't. I'm still lazy. But I'm smart lazy. If you wait till the last minute it'll only take a minute. I cleaned my room. I used to weight close to 300 pounds. My room had trash all over it. You couldn't even see the floor and I was 19 years old. I decided to change. I cleaned my room, then started going to the gym, lost 100 pounds in a year, and now at 23 am healthy, happy, and in a long term relationship, with a great job, and living life to the fullest. I'm happy you changed your lifestyle that sounds like an awful way to live. Comes to this thread, is it possible to learn such power? Had a realization that I wasted many years of my life and was never going to get the time or ruined relationships back. I started to feel ashamed about how much of my life I had wasted. I realized that I would trade my entire life savings to spend just 15 minutes with my friend who committed suicide. Had a realization that, on my deathbed, I would never think to myself I wish I watched more TV. I stopped watching P. I realized how important getting enough sleep is. 8 plus hours in my case. I cut down on my alcohol consumption. I discovered stoicism. I read somewhere once, that if it takes between 5 seconds and 5 minutes to complete a task do it. Every single time. It's just 5 seconds to 5 minutes. Once I started putting it into play it became second nature. My first impulse is always, nah, but then I remember 5x5 and I sigh a little, and just do it, whatever it may be. I'm still lazy, but I've found it's much easier to do nothing when you've already done the work than when you've got tons of work to do. Future me is lazy, present me works hard so that future me can be lazy. Most replies are probably from people who've been sitting in the toilet for 45 minutes browsing reddit lol. What have you been up to hotshot? Bought a Fitbit and started getting those 10 steps. Laziness is a symptom of underlying issues. Self-awareness is the key to overcoming them. Here were my steps to success. 1. Eat healthy. 
Start slowly if you need to. Every time you eat, ask yourself if what you're eating is something a healthy person should eat. 2. Work out, doesn't matter how long, just get active. Ask yourself when you go to the bar or stay up late of that's what a healthy person would do. 3. Don't frick with your sleep, get a full 8 hours. If you have problems sleeping, go back to steps 1 and 2. 4. Meditate or do Tai Chi. Every single day you need to quiet your mind for at least 15-30 minutes. This is how your brain address the cause of depression, anxiety, and laziness. Listen to your thought but don't judge yourself. They need to be fleeting thoughts that you acknowledge and then return to focusing on your breath. In the midst of doing these four things, you will see improvement. The better you get at doing these each day, the more disciplined and focused you will become. Take it from a 20 year stoner who has dealt with laziness, depression, lack of motivation, and hopelessness. You will make time for what matters and it doesn't matter how you get started. Recommended Reading. The Four Agreements. Self-Discipline by Jennifer Alshon. I got diagnosed as depressed and began to take medication and attend therapy. Sometimes the reason you don't move for 4 days isn't because you are totally lazy but because your brain needs a bit of help. I'll tell you tomorrow. Why not day after tomorrow? A dare all. I miss the good old days. Junk shriveled up to a raisin. Getting ready to take an explosive crap. Euphoria coursing through my body. Someone once told me that a truly lazy person works hard to get things done early so they can enjoy being extra lazy later. For example, if you write that paper now, you can enjoy laying around later. If you choose to lay around now, the paper is going to loom over you. And then when something goes wrong along the way, the time crunch creates a lot of stress. Along my path of mastering that level of lazy, I got myself really organized. I put everything in my calendar and live by it. Before sitting down to be lazy, I try to cross off some tasks first. I also get really OCD about my email inbox. Never let it get big enough for the scroll bar to show up, because once it's off the screen, it's out of mind. Either respond right away, or schedule a time to do so. By losing 50 pounds, I was so tired and lethargic all the time, I would get winded just walking to the other room. Now that I lost the weight I feel like a new person. And I've been doing all the little projects around the house I've neglected. I am incredibly lazy, but my mind realizes what must be done and what I can't be lazy about. So assignments would be left to the last minute but the day or two before a fire would be lit under my butt that you wouldn't believe. At work it's more about managing expectations of other people, under promise over deliver. I'd also say that you should be accepting of your laziness, and work your life around it. So I work from home have a good work schedule, but I also know when to not force it. I cycle 200 miles a week, because I'm passionate about it, but sometimes I will sit there and watch something I don't want to watch on Netflix because the act of finding something else is too much. I might have heard this in a movie once, but anything that needs to be done and can be done in under 3 minutes, do it on the spot. Once you have that momentum it's easier to take on the bigger tasks. Also, I'm busy so that later I can enjoy being lazy with no guilt, as I've finished everything that needed to be done. Joined the army and realized where I would end up being lazy the rest of my life. A number of ways. First was to realize that being lazy just made everything harder. Second, automate as much as the mundane crap I hated doing as I could. Third, the things that still needed to be done. I created systems that worked for me to get them done using as little effort and time as possible so it didn't feel like a lot of work. Fourth was to make a conscious effort to avoid the laziness through consistent self-evaluations. Fifth took the time to appreciate how the effort put into the things I used to avoid made life thousands of times more enjoyable. Sixth I took personal responsibility to make sure that I didn't fall back into the lazy routine. An example of the system is, instead of putting clothes into a laundry basket after wearing them that I would eventually need to bring to the wash, sort and wash, I minimized my wardrobe, almost entirely removed whites to avoid having to separate, and removed clothes directly into the washing machine. This way every time I was standing next to it to change clothes and it was full all I had to do was scoop in soap and turn it on. 
Then when I went to get ready, either the next morning, I usually always run it overnight. Or if I'm going to change into nighttime clothes and it's finished just throw it in the dryer. Started rock climbing which got me out of the house 5 times a week. Got me training. Started running to get in better shape for climbing and lost 35 pounds. Now I'm sitting here with a grade 2 stroke 3 ankle sprain back to my lazy ways. The 5 second rule. Count down 5 seconds and just get moving and don't stop. I found the hardest part wasn't the task but the getting started. I just had my grandson win a golden ticket for me. I had never really planned to live past 30. My dad committed suicide at 29 so I figured I'd beat him and then frick off myself. But there I was at 30. And then my little brother was shot and killed. He died 9 days before his 18th birthday. This kid was my brother, but also like a son. So that kind of gave me a perspective shift. Funny as it is, the scene from Dewey Cox where his brother says he had to live extra good for the both of them kind of stuck in my mind. At one point, I weighed 450 pounds. I had gotten down to 360 something by trying to eat a little better, but I never really tried. So I got off my butt and got a job. Went on keto and intermittent fasting. I stuck with this for almost 2 years. I kept working harder my job. Harder and harder as I lost over 160 pounds. Down to 205. I'm 6 feet 4 so this really isn't bad. Now, and I am one of the top workers at my store. And I'm in great shape. It's just a shame that it took such a reality shattering loss for me to want to live. So that is how I overcame myself. And my laziness. Amphetamines. This is the real answer. Turns out I wasn't lazy. I had ADHD and executive dysfunction is a B. Antidepressants and getting out of a crappy relationship. Little late but I just wanted to share. There was a time in my life where I was basically a zombie in a living world. I would do nothing but watch TV, smoke cigarettes, and nap. I neglected my responsibilities so much that I eventually I had next to no responsibilities. I'm all honesty I was depressed, but I had no resources to help treat that depression. So I started reading about the formations of habits and their effects on people. After reading that I put my time to make at least one habit. To make a list of things I was willing to do that day. Didn't matter if I wanted to do them or not they were just things I was willing to do based on how I felt that day. For example, if I was so depressed to the point where I couldn't get out of bed, I would write down sit up, take shower, brush teeth, get dressed. Eventually I started writing down activities in that list to the point that they became habits as well. I also started looking into the effects of dopamine on the brain and started lowering my intake of things that would release a large amount of dopamine. It sucks and it's heck but it's worth it. Depression is hard to get through. It's not something that can be solved in a day. Nor is it something that needs to be done 100% every single day. You fail time and time again because it takes patience and hard work. I hope the best for people who are also going through depression. I'm not out of the woods yet either but I'm getting there in my own time. Put down the phone get away from the TV and just start your tasks. You have been visited by the ingenious Joe. Comment brain so you always see the glass half full like and subscribe you magnificent person.